Let's get to our next guest here. He is the New York Times best-selling author of three novels, The Subject, Steve Homeland and The Ask, as well as two collections of short stories, Venus Drive, and his latest, The Fun Parts, published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux. Please welcome Sam Lipsites. <laughs> Right. Hey. Well, hey, welcome. Good song. Good song. <laughs> little little drunk girls there for yeah. Sam Lipsight. What about the uh, the Hornicators? Has anybody oh. done that one? There we go. <laughs> I think we got a name. You see this? You gotta have Sam's with backstage work. Yeah, he's been ready. He's been working this up in his head. You need a writer to come up with that. No, yeah. well, this is this is your job basically. Yeah, that's what I do. This is what you do, Sam. You're good with words, my man. Wordsmith. Well, wordsmith. I think we got the Hornicators. That's going to be, we'll get these, we'll get mugs and business cards and we'll take care of you. It's got a, a guest with a jacket and tie. You know, fits yeah, right in. Yeah, this, this is, is great. Impre- I think the first time. Someone actually respects the show. <laughs> nice. <laughs> first time. <laughs> I believe in what you're doing, Scott. <laughs> I appreciate it, Sam. I, I believe what you're doing. Uh, you are writing amazing books. Uh, I Thank just want to first welcome you back to Dumbo because... Yeah. You, sp- you logged some considerable hours in Dumbo when you first moved to New York, is that right? I did some time in Dumbo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little different back then, it 20 was, years ago. yeah. No, it was just uh, me and just some empty buildings. Yeah? Just, nothing. They just, yeah. They didn't have the West Elm 20 years nothing, ago? Nothing. They had nothing going on here. No? Just, uh, I stumbled onto it. Nobody was here. It was really? just me. It was yeah. ghost town. Yeah. Well, you know, this place used to be uh, Galapagos before... This was an Indian cemetery. Right. And they, they paved that over, <laughs> uh, built, uh, built this art That's space That's always here. a good move. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, if anyone has any drinks mysteriously yeah. spilling tonight, you'll know why. <laughs> but those Dumbo, I really want to get into those Dumbo days. You we, we were making music. You were, I mean, you were doing all sorts of creative stuff. Not, not necessarily writing novels back then. No, or, no. I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was kind of the lead screamer in a, in a in a band. Yeah. yeah. We'll call it a band. <laughs> Performance art. Whatever, yeah. It's just people making noise. Yeah. Good noise. Yeah. But uh, That's how I wanted it. <laughs> and as, I didn't even want to be heard, really. I wanted to be drowned out, in a way. Indecipherable. So, yeah. I thought that was important. So is that the music that you like? Because I can't stand that music. Yeah. Well, you listen I, to that stuff? I still like it. Really? Yeah. Just noise metal? Noise rock? Well, not just, you know. Yeah. I listen to... The chance of Indian burials as well. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Maybe the band should strike I, up a tune there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the screaming and the singing that you, you it was an emotional. It was a cathartic, cathartic exercise. Sort of exercise. Yeah. Wasn't really paying the rent, which is why the writing came into play. Is that? Yeah. What? Well, the writing didn't pay the rent for a long time either. No. So, yeah. yeah. Nothing pays the rent. Nothing pays the rent. Except a job. <laughs> except a <the> job. <laughs> <laughs> And you have a job, right? You need this job. You're, you're more settled these days on the Upper West Side. That's right. Teaching yeah. at Columbia. Yeah. Yeah, Upper West Side. Upper West Side. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you take the A train? Uh, no, the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Sorry. oh, we got some. Uh, people don't like a the fight's fucking gonna break one out. Or 